Good afternoon. It is uh, March 31st, 2020. Pastor Stan here. Just wanted to just give you a quick touch up base scripture. Um, friends, I just want to encourage you to stay in the Word. I know in Maryland, uh, as of yesterday, we have been uh, officially now house quarantined, only going out for necessities, those kind of things. Um, just to encourage you, let's just, uh, I know these are trying, unprecedented times. Uh, I know it's stressful for many of us. Again, more businesses were, again, confirmed to be shut down. We know there's a lot going on. So I'm just encouraging you just to continue to call out to the Lord for yourself, your family, your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors. I'm also encouraging for yourself. Take care of yourself. Make sure you're reading the Word. Make sure you're praying. Talk to someone. If you, if you are quarantined by yourself, use social media. Call them. Do, do something. Use Zoom, Skype. FaceTime, something where you can talk to someone. Um, continue to take care of yourself. Walk around. Go outside if you can. Uh, yes, practice the social distancing. But uh, I just want to encourage you. We're praying for you as a church. Um, if you're a family or friend member, I'm praying for you. Happen to watch this. Uh, but just stay strong right now. Again, these are different trying times. I want to encourage you also, if you've ever been to my church, you've heard my preaching and teaching, I always challenge you to to, to test everything. In fact, uh, 1 John, I'm just concerned as a pastor because there's so much information being spewed out every day, good, bad, false, kind of, kind of, you know, whatever. Um, but 1 John writes, his dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God because many false prophets have gone out into the world. And, and so I'm just challenging you that don't believe everything someone posts on the social media even everything you're seeing on the internet, the, even news media sources are just putting stuff out and, and they're just getting information and putting it out as fast as they can so that people will continue to hear stuff. Uh, uh, yes, we need to have wise uh, discernment from the Lord. Yes, you know, you practice what, what the doctors and, and some of our officials are saying, but let's also use wisdom. Um, but let's also not think that we are immune to things. Um, the early Pentecostal church, the beginning of the Assemblies of God, the 1900s, they closed churches down so they would not spread the uh, what we now call the H1N1 virus, which is the Spanish flu. The Spanish flu, uh, sadly, the, there were at least uh, 30 to 40 million people that died from that flu. Uh, and so we, we're, you know, we in different times now, modern eras, better science, better communication. Uh, th we, we are thankful that we are, we're able to kind of to to get on top of this virus before it overwhelmed us but we're still praying we're praying i know that there's there are still i still see people facebook uh message saying they decree this this virus dead i'm praying for it to be dead but um we have to be careful uh we're still seeing craziness uh i believe in the gifts of the spirit i believe in the prophetic i believe in uh visions from the lord but I also believing in the reading of the word i also believe in wisdom from others uh proverbs says uh trust in the counts of others um, I was just, again, um, reminded through, through an online article by, by a report that I trust, and it talks about uh, where Jeremiah, even he was a prophet. Uh, he was even warning Israel not to believe every prophet, to, to basically check it out. In fact, God was saying, he said this um, in Jeremiah 16, this is what the Lord Almighty says, do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They will fill you with false hopes. They will speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. Uh, and, and so I'm not saying that God isn't prophesying. I'm, I'm not saying that uh, I'm not God. I don't know if this is judgment. I mean, I don't personally feel it's judgment. I've been praying and asking the Lord this whole virus thing. I think it's a wake-up call. It's a, hey, mankind, uh, this is kind of our doing a little bit in one sense that we think we don't need God. We think that we're all smart. If you listen to my sermons. But, but I just want to challenge you. Um, test everything. If, if you get a prophetic word, uh, uh, check it, test it. Uh, if you know them, then, then that's great. But if it's just someone out of the blue you don't even know about, chances are you, you need to check it out. But I'm just as trying to encourage you. I'm praying for you. Uh, church family, we're continuing our care teams. Um, but, but just stay in the Word of God. Pray. Talk to other people. Uh, you can't just leave every voice that you hear out in the world. The Bible says to test everything. Test it against the Scripture. Uh, if it goes against Scripture, if it goes against God's nature, it is not from the Lord. Okay. Uh, if it goes against what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church, to the to people, if it goes against the Bible, it's not from the Lord. Uh, just I want to be just loving on you. Uh, our care team should be contacting you if you're part of Rockville Assembly. 
Uh, if they haven't, please, and you, we're not getting information to you, check your email, uh, spam boxes, etc. I'm not, I'm not being mean, but just do that. And then also maybe, again, we might have the wrong email address or an outdated one. Contact us at office, office at rockvilleag.com, office at rockvilleag.com. Hey, I'm praying for you. I know these are different times. We'll send the email out again from, from the church saying uh, there were some links there. Again, if you live in Maryland, uh, just the, the, the aid that might be possible uh, if you want a business. I know these are trying times, but hey, Lord, thank you for blessing us. We, we trust in you. We're asking your hand to be manifest. We're asking you to help us in this time. And, and we do pray for healing for those who have the virus. We do pray you stop the, the, the spread of it. We do pray for comfort for those that are, that are dealing with the virus uh, and those who've lost loved ones. And we pray for uh, people who are, have to work in the public eyes, first responders, scientists, researchers, anyone doing food service or whatever else. Hey, God bless you. Uh, we're going to have a Zoom prayer meeting. Rockville, Sunday, God, watch for the emails. Thursday night, uh, April 2nd, 7 p.m. Watch the emails, information. We'd love for you to join us in prayer. We'd love for you to send a prayer request. Hey, God bless you. Pastor Stan here. We love you. We're praying for you. Amen.